So uh, today we will learn about one of the most important things that describes straight line. It's called gradient. So our learning intention today is to learn about gradient. Also sometimes it's called smoke. But more proper mathematical name is gradient. And gradient uh, tells us how steep the line is. Is it going up or going down? So what is gradient? If we have vision plane, x, y, and we have a straight line, and we have two points on this straight line, say point A and point B. Point A has coordinates x1 and y1. Point B has coordinates x2 and y2. And let's draw the line, horizontal line, at the level at y1. And this is x2. This is x1, this is y1, and this is y2. And this is called run. And this is called rise. So how much x changing when we're going from point A to point B? Both changes, x changes and y changes. How much x changes called run? How much y changing called rise? So, what run will be equal? We, we're running from where to where? X1 to X2. From x1 to x2. So, how far we run? 1. x2 minus x1. One. That will be the distance how far we run this way. What will be the rise? Um, what will be the rise? Y2. Hmm? A to Y2. Y2 minus Y1. Oh, I just can't see it. Y2 minus Y1. That looks like A. And the gradient, so run is how much yeah. X changes. When we move here, mm -hmm. X was X1, now it's X2. We move also up. So y change from y1 to y2. So change in y will be y2 minus y1. Yes? Is that other x there? Would that be x3? Where? After x2. But it's not involved in these two points. Your brother will be x3, x4, x1,200,021. If infinitely, if, if it's going forever, it will be infinite number of x. But between these two points, only x2 and x1. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. Now, <coughs> gradient, and we're using letter M for gradient, to denote gradient, equal rise over run. Mm -hmm. Or y2, if you substitute those values, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That is the definition of the gradient. It's a rise over run. It tells us how steep the line is. The bigger the gradient, the steeper will be the line. The less gradient, the less steep the line. Also, as we will see in gradient can be not always positive, it can be negative. If line instead of going up, it will go down. So let's consider some examples. Let's say our points are, can I clean this up, copy this? So let's consider two points. The points A has coordinates, let's say, uh, 2, 3. And point B has coordinates, let's say, uh, 
five and seven and uh, and nine. Let's say five and nine. Let's find the gradient. Gradient equal rise over run. To find rise, what we do, we subtract, we do y2 minus y1, 9 minus 3, over x2 minus x1, 5 minus 2, so we have 6 over 3 equals 2, so gradient is 2. Make sense? Yeah. Another example, let's say we have point A has coordinates minus 2, 5, and point B has coordinates 2 uh, and uh, 3. So what will be the gradient? What will be the gradient? We do always, and at this stage, when you just start into working with gradient, I will recommend to write here small x1, y1, x2, y2. So that will prevent you from mixing up where x is, which x, which y, so, and the X just have to stop. And then y just yeah, X first, Y second, but we have X1, Y1 for the first point coordinates. We have X2, Y2 coordinates of the second point. So again, you will not mix up X from one point with X with another. Very good question. It's not necessary if the equation uh, to use order in which point in the question. You always look which first point you take which is more on the left. Which point, if we have two points with coordinates x1 and x2, which one will be, and we have x1 is greater than x2, which one uh, will be on the left? One. Two. Two. Smaller numbers are on the left, bigger numbers on the right. So we need to take, make sure that you always check, take as one smaller, the point where x is smaller. So if we have two points, let's say 1.50 uh, and another negative 2, 3. Which one will be first point? Negative two. Negative two. Why? Because negative two is smaller than five. So always take at the first point with a smaller value of x. So I'll be x two. Yeah. So coming back to the example, what will be in the numerator? We have need to write rise y two minus y one. So what I should write here? What I should write here? Look at the point. Negative 3 minus 5. Negative 3 minus 5. Yes, that's correct. What we'll write here as a run? x2 minus x1, 2 minus negative 2. It makes sense why I write it exactly like this. We have y2 minus y1. And here we have x2 minus x1 equals negative 8 divided by what is 2 minus minus 2? 4. And negative 8 divided by 4 equals negative 2. So we get gradient can be negative. Gradient can be negative. We have negative 2. Make sense how to find gradient. Yeah. yeah? Now.
I will draw a few different lines and we will compare their gradients. So, That will be line number one, y, x. That will be line number two. That will be line number three. We we'll have line number four. And we have one more line, line number five. We have five lines. Each of them will have its own gradient. And we will, uh, let's first compare gradient of line one and line five. Which gradient will be greater, M5 or M1? Which line will have a bigger gradient? M5. 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 The steeper the line is, the more is the gradient. So, gradient of the line 5 greater than gradient of the line 1. Make sense? The steeper the line, the bigger the gradient. If you say, let's say, going from left to right, like Let's say that will be gradient 1, that will be gradient 2, gradient 3, and so on. So the steeper, the bigger the gradient, the steeper is the line. Yes? Is gradient 4 bigger than gradient 5? Because it's fully just straight forward. We come to that. Let's, we compare step by step. So does that make sense that gradient of the line number 5 is greater than gradient of the line number 1? Does that make sense? Yes. And they both are positive. Because line going up. What about line number two? Is gradient of the line number two, will it be positive or negative? Negative. Negative, because a rise is negative. It's going down. Remember, when you're doing, make always run positive. Never run from right to left. Always run from left to right. Never run backwards. Always from left to right. So makes always run positive. But rise can be positive you're going up. It can be negative you're going down. Make sense? Yeah. So gradient M2 is negative. What about gradient M3? It's horizontal. Positive. So, when it's horizontal, does Y coordinate changes? It's just zero. It's positive. It's zero. What? Gradient is of line M3 oh. is zero. Example, to better understand. So, as it's horizontal, any, we take any two points, and they will have same Y coordinates. Let's say we take one, four, and another point is 5, 4. Let's find the gradient. Which point, where we, uh, which point will be point 1, which point number 2? 1. This will be point number 1, because why we take this as 1? Because x is smaller. So x1, y1, x2, y2 equal 4, minus 4 divided by 5 minus 1 zero. 4 minus 4 is 0 0 divided by anything is zero. so we get the gradient of the line number 3 equals 0 there is no rise there is no rise we are running but not rising on the same level but then what is 4? Hmm? then what is 4? 4 
Let's be coming to that. We started one, two, three, now we're coming to four. Four. No. Oh. This vertical line will yeah. have all points will have same x coordinate. So it's negative. So we have, for example, uh, we have minus two, minus three, and negative two, ten. So gradient equal. In this case, we have same x, so it doesn't matter which we take first. Let's take this is first. This is second. So equal 10 minus 3 over negative 2 minus negative 2. What problem we have now? It's 7 over 4. What is negative 2 minus negative 2? Zero. Negative, negative, positive. So we got zero here. The problem. Why there is a problem? Because we cannot divide by zero. In this case, we say that M4 undefined. It does not exist. Undefined. Because we cannot divide by zero. Now, you can have a vertical line, but its gradient will be undefined. Because we cannot divide by zero. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so today we will be practicing with the finding the gradient. The only one more example that I will do. We have, if we have one point is 2, 9, and second point is 5, uh, Fridge. Oh. Fridge. Cakes. Cakes. And second point is 5A. And the gradient, and we know that the gradient is if, uh, gradient is 2. How we can find what is A? Yes. Well, what is so wouldn't 2 equal 9 minus a over 2 minus So we're using the formula of gradient. M equal. We have x1, y1, x2, y2. So a minus 9. A minus 9 over, so we can, and gradient is 2. 2 equal a minus 9 over 5 minus 2. So 2 equal a minus 9 over 3. What, what is the next step? Times both sides by 3. So you get 6 equals A minus 9. We get A equals plus 9, 15. Make sense? Okay, that's all new stuff for today. We'll be practicing now. Like, subscribe, and support Ukraine and Israel. Yay! Yeah. Oh, I'm changing these now as well. Really, so I mean, one to one. I really want to watch.